so my name is Lynette and today I just wanted to show you how I changed the desktop wallpaper on my computer um, this is a MacBook Air M2 the colors in starlight I do have unboxing videos and comparison videos on my channel if you like to see me I like to personalize my like my phone and my computer so I'm always changing the wallpapers on them and this is the way I do it I use Canva I use the free version so I did download Google Chrome. The MacBook didn't come with Google Chrome, but I prefer it. So I did download it. You just go to Canva. Like I said, I do use the free version. I use it for my YouTube thumbnails and for Instagram. And I never needed to pay for like the pro package up till now. So if you just sign up for the free, you'll be fine. And what I usually do is I just type in the search bar, desktop wallpaper. And then you're going to see a lot of really nice ones come up. If you want to see it bigger, you could just look up here. See if you want something like that. If you look at all of these options right here, some of them have a dollar sign. And they say paid. So that means if you want to use everything that's on this wallpaper, you have to have the pro account. But what I do is I just look for the ones that are free. There's a lot of nice free ones. Right now I have a January one, but just to give you an example, I'm going to type in pink. When I change it, I just want to change it really fast. I don't, I don't want to be here so long, so I don't look for the measurements on none of that. But if you want to be really specific, you could type in your exact measurement. At least mine is a MacBook 13 inch. Like if yours is a pro or it's bigger, then you could type in like the perfect measurements. You could just Google that. Say I want a pink one, a beige one, top, um, neutral. You could type in whatever you want. And I just look them over. And then when I find something that I like, kind of like this. I always choose ones that have like these spaces in them. Because I like to put my files in those spaces. And I like the ones with the calendar. So let me do pink. See if I find one pink with January calendar. So there's a couple, but none of them are really pink. This one's, this one's beige though, but it looks nice. Beige brown. I kind of like this one. So I like this one. So we could click on this. It says customize. It's going to take you to this screen. And I usually just leave them as is, like I said. I just want to download and do it really quick. I don't want to be here so long just changing on my desktop wallpaper. But if you want to customize it even more, you could click on the different boxes go up here there's a bunch of colors that are here in the document so it's gonna help you like match it all if you wanna search for colors on the photos you could look over here if you wanna look for the other colors like the normal colors you could look down here you could add colors too say you choose this and you can look for your the own color just go through the whole rainbow but like I said, to do stuff like that, you really have to have time. See, I'm just changing that square to these. Let's do done. So I already added like the blue, but of course I don't want the blue. So I'm going to put it back to beige. So really you could change to any color you want. If you want to change the pictures that are here too, or you want to take some out, you could delete the whole thing. See? I'm going to undo that because I don't want to do that. Or if you like the picture a lot, you could make another copy. See, now I have two. I'm going to delete the extra one. Um, you can move everything around. You could change what it says, like the writing. So I changed that to do to say notes. Um, so you can really personalize it any way you want. You can move the letters around. If you want to add photos, like upload photos that you have on the MacBook, you could go over here where it says uploads and it should show you like all the photos that you have on your, your MacBook. Say I want to add this one, maybe add it to change something up. 
maybe delete this even though i like that because that's the coffee but i'll delete this i'll delete this and this maybe just add this this is a picture of my desk so i could do something like that and it kind of goes with the color scheme so it doesn't look bad if you want to add elements you just click on elements say you i want to add some hearts it's going to show me like a bunch of graphics you could just add these somewhere I don't know, I'm kind of digging these little hearts. I think I'm gonna keep them. I'll keep them like over here. And if you wanna add text, you can add the text by clicking text. Right now the background is white, so if I wanna change, I'll just go to background. I have these two colors that I've seen. I use. I always use this color, it's, it's like my favorite colors. It's between a pink and a coral. So that looks nice, I could probably leave it like that. So if you wanna find better pictures what i do is i go to pinterest you could just go right here you could just search pinterest that's also free so what i usually do is just write the color in the front of what i'm looking for and then write aesthetic after and you got a lot of pretty images so anything you like you could just drag to your desktop like this let me write desktop wallpaper maybe you could get some ideas look how nice this one is yeah so say you want to change something here you could just go here And drag it to your Canva. You could change the size. You could change the direction. Change location. Let me see what else I got. I, I like this. This is really cute. So yeah, you could change it around if you want. Or you can leave it as is. And then what you're going to do next is... You're gonna click here where it says share, and then you're going to download it. You just, I just leave it as the file type they choose. Then I download it. You see it's downloading already. I open it. It doesn't let me just send it straight to wallpaper, so I always go here. And add it to my photos so see it jumped up it's added to my photos then I go to my photos it should be the last thing here it is I go over here again and this time it's gonna give me the option is to set as wallpaper so I'm gonna click out as out from here I'm gonna minimize this so you can see it so I already added it as my wallpaper but it's like really big really stretched out so what i do to fix that i go to settings i scroll down where it says wallpaper and then here it says picture fill screen if you put fit to screen it's going to show like the normal color underneath but i don't want to do that i'm going to do stretch to fit screen i'm going to s out and and that's how i will leave it so this is the way it's looking and what I usually do is these folders over here I put over here where it says you know the one that makes the most sense probably over here in work files I'll probably put um wait let me leave this here this is music I have on my desktop so I'll just put all the music down here these are some videos that I'm working on so I could just put those here yeah and that's it and of course when i get bored of it i'll just go and change it again now that i know how to screen record and stuff like that i could probably show you what i have on my macbook i could show you my notion so i hope this video helps you and i'll see you next time bye